Hello, dear viewers. I've been awoken from a two-week Minecraft binge by my friend Joey61 to present another episode of One View Wonders. YouTube nobodies that don't get views. It's time for the One View Wonder Blues. And well, I couldn't think of a keyword to use for today's video, so... I asked him to give me a word, any word. His first instinct was for me to search for the thing I hate most in the world. Little did I realize he meant the thing he hates most in the world, which turns out to be thug life. According to Mr. 61, he hates people with a thug life mindset. I'm completely unfamiliar with the concept. The closest I could think of was word life, some lame John Cena slogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, bread knife! It's a basic Wigonomics. Wigonomics. I'm lame and I suck and I'm gonna make you sleepy. Bread knife! Yeah. The less said about that, the better. Okay, I can tell right away this is some sort of rap thing. I suppose I should adjust for this. Or, or maybe... This is a little more accurate. Okay, let's watch the first video. Okay, so I didn't actually bother to ask Joey, despite the fact that he's actually a rapper himself, and he could have filled me in. But I figure, hey, why not just put it in the YouTube search, today is July 7th, 2013, and find out for myself what thug life is. And no, I want to avoid all videos featuring little kids. Like this wannabe gangster girl here who proudly proclaims I'm a young thug, a girl thug, a hood thug, a real thug. Yeah, okay little girl, if you do your homework instead of trying to imitate your corner's drug dealer, you have a slightly better chance of not ending up living in a pile of your own feces, like he does. Being a thug isn't something to be proud of! Jeez! Anyhow, yeah, this time around, no little kids doing stupid things on camera, lest I be called a bully. Wow, lots of thug life on YouTube. Is it that fashionable to be street trash, minds and bodies destroyed by crack, and being proud of being uneducated and low class? Alright, here's a white girl posing like a street slut. Looks like a perfect candidate to make fun of. This one's called Thug Life, wrapping up in this for Michael's 21st. Should be a blast. P. Dizzle and a Shizzle. That's so like eight years ago. I expect out of touch wannabe white kids. Focus camera. You did not disappoint, video. Look how lame they are. There is no club lame enough to allow this kind of arm flailing, uncoordinated, crappy dancing to ruin their joint's prestige. Feel my vanilla anger! White chocolate punch! I see she's as uncoordinated with a skateboard as she is with her dangling. I mean her dancing. Oh, now she thinks she has a Sir Mix a lot, but this is what happens when you fail to grow up with an identity, kids. She's back on the skateboard. Oh, but if you think her skateboarding is terrible, get a load of phony hawk over here. How can this possibly, possibly get any worse? This is Perinashima here on the mic. We're here to make a speech for our good friend Mike. We just run Mike with Mike. You can't stop us. Guys, guys. People run Kodak with Kodak. So shut the fuck up. Put the audio you had before back on. Being paid to represent and make some noise for Flinders! Our friendship is beautiful now, but it wasn't always this dope. When I first asked if we were mates, Michael answered with nope. Yeah, your rapping is worse than your dancing and skateboarding! This isn't rap. There's actual rhythm to go with the rhyming. It's not just rhyming the last word while shouting your verses out loud. Let's give the boy a chance, lady. By the way, that's not how you spell school. Colors are fucking mad, bitch. Players don't hate. Michael and I weren't mates till we finished school. I thought he was a loser and I was far too cool. We were brought together by fate, aka Young Money Pabs Espinose. We were forced into conversation while Pabs had a doze. Yeah, Eminem, you are not. 
Australia is sorely lacking in representing power over here. I think it's time to move on to something a little more thug lifeish, And I'm dreading it. Terrible Aussie white rap. Now I've heard everything. Your rap sucks so hard that you've eviscerated any chance of respect it's like you asked to be hated. Next video, please. My nigga. Rudy, he my nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. There you go. Hey. Hey, yeah. Rudy, get it in, dog. Yo no sé. Rudy, he my mira, loco. nigga. Hey, mira, loco. Ay, me puse bien pedo, wey. Me soy una puta. Uh oh, Rudy, get yo, it in. Fuck. Okay, so for those of you wondering who these unsavory and unsightly embarrassments to Latino culture are, they are Rooster Hangovers, a channel dedicated to embarrassing Puerto Ricans all over the world. I can translate their drunken slurred Spanish for you, fortunately. Mm -hmm. Take a home, my nigga. I spread her legs open. Tell them how you raped So sure, she had a bush? I was like, what the fuck is this? She oh, said, shit. I'm natural, baby. I oh, I guess I won't have to anymore. Lucky you. You forgot to down the forest. Yeah, right, you the ghetto rapper, nigga. She forgot to come down the gangsta. forest. You the ghetto gangster, nigga. Nope. She forgot to come down the forest, remember? Yeah, she forgot to cut down the forest. I cut it the first 50 times, dude. You could say it another 50, but it still won't be funny. Ah, uh, nigga. Uh oh, you just made Latinos all over the world look like complete uneducated drunken morons. Way to aim high, dude. We get fucked up here. We <laughs> fucked up right now. Hey, we don't. We don't give a fuck about pride, respect, decency, or taste. Latino pride, my nigga. <sighs> you guys don't get sideways cat. Shame on you. Shame on you all. Anyhow, one last video to end the day with, and then we're off. Let's make it a good one, please. All right, this last one's called, What Does Thug Mean? Oh, thank heavens, I'm still curious as to the meaning of thug, and I thought I'd never find out, and perhaps this video will offer the sorely needed enlightenment that I dearly seek. Rendered in loving Windows Movie Maker, an old friend of mine. Ah, windmills, I can tell this will be an educational and classy video. Thousands of viewers out there? I hate to break it to you, Caesarville, but... Yeah. I mean, not to brag or nothing, I'm small potatoes too, but I don't blow my numbers out of proportion either. I love y'all to the fullest. I here doing my thug thing, as y'all can see. Throw it up, fold it up. Put thugs, man. Truly under than the guy. So, thug means wearing a bunch of rubber bracelets? That's what it mean. I'm out here giving back. Hmm? Trying to, uh, uh -huh. you know, spread the word throughout the community to let them know that it's a very positive thing that I'm doing. Okay, so what is this positive thing, man? I'm all for positive things. Yeah? Yeah? What wonderful cause? It says, humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, and in due time, he lift us up, exalt, and honor us. So only thing we have to do is really just put him first. Think about what we say before we say it. Think about what we do before we do it. Hey, everything that's due will come in due time. You just gotta have some faith, man. I feel like this guy needs subtitles at times. I think it's a Jesus thing, but I'm not sure because I can hardly understand this guy's Jesus English. Here. You know what I'm saying? Everybody moving around here acting like they don't know what's going on. Well, I certainly have no idea what's going on. I'm no closer to knowing what thug is or what your cause happens to be, buddy. You know what I'm saying? But it's T-H-U-G-G-I-N-G -G -G right here. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm talking about? We're in the purple and turn to a hole. You know what I'm saying? We shining and we riding. We letting them know what's going on right now, though. He said something about a purple hulk that's going on right now. 
God damn, these people are hard to understand. Honorary thugs, man. Y'all gonna see that in the video, man. I promise, man. Y'all gonna see this in the video. video Repping that 503, you know what I'm saying? From the 404 to the 714 to the 702. And you know that, though. We gonna get up, baby. So is Thug Life about guessing lottery numbers, or is he giving away his phone number to random passerby? So in conclusion, thug life signifies being incomprehensible while following God, being a drunk degenerate Latino, and crappy Australian wrestling. I mean rapping. Sadly, this little girl... Females hating on me, but I don't really care. When I walk in the studio, they ain't there. ...was the most easy to understand. You go, girl. I just I'm a young thug, a boy thug, a fat thug, a gay thug, yes I'm a shit thug, a drunk thug, a weird thug, the thug thug. And now I happily return to Minecraft. Oddly enough, there was a Minecraft video attached with the words thug life on the list. The world is a strange place. Till next time, dear viewer. Parte de los superhéroes. Con el Joyce One. Esto se hizo pensando para ustedes, interesaditas.